Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Christian and this is CXC Beauty. On today's video, we are going to do a tutorial with one of my favorite palettes. This is the Vault of Olympus Mini Palette. It is a palette that has a bunch of warm tones and beautiful golden shades with a pop of color. And this is the mini version of our Deluxe Vault of Olympus, which I have right here and I'll show you for comparison. The large Vault of Olympus has a lot more pops of colors and all of these amazing shades, but if you want all of these beautiful textures on the go, we did condense it down to the most essential shades in the palette for, in my opinion, and you can take this on the go. So if you want to see how I achieved this look using the mini Vault of Olympus palette and my base makeup for today, keep on watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. We would greatly appreciate it. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this look and this tutorial in the comments below. So don't forget to leave me a comment. Today we're using this beautiful palette, which is our Vault of Olympus mini palette. I love this palette because it has a bunch of neutral warm tones, very reflective like metallic gold and this special shade right here, which is more like a topper and it gives a beautiful gold reflex to the eyes. And it also has this beautiful pop of color right here, which is like an orangey, um, like neon orange tone. And we have a great deep brown shade for lining the eyes. So we're going to use this palette today. And yeah, let's get into it. Priming my eyes as usual with the P. Louise base. By the way, you guys, I had my hair on for a little while again, but I decided to go bald once more. I am very much not a high maintenance kind of person, even though I do like to wear makeup and all that stuff. I'm just not very high maintenance. So if I have another thing to do like hair, uh, I generally don't do it <laughs> and then it's pointless because I always wear a hat anyway. So I went ahead and shaved it off and yeah, I feel free again. I don't have to worry about my hair looking a mess or whatever the case might be. I'm taking this shade right here and I'm using that to set my P. Louise base. This is a nice beigey tone, very light, close to my skin tone and it's the perfect canvas for the rest of this eye look. Now I'm gonna jump into this center shade right here, which is a warm sand color, and I'm gonna start building that in my crease. The brush I'm using is a Wayne Goss number five. I really, really love the shape of these Wayne Goss brushes. They are so unique to where they, they're like a blending brush, but they come to a point, which really helps the eyeshadow blend and diffuse but also gives you that precision when you're trying to get into the, the crease of the eye or, you know, trying to give your eye more shape. Now I do want to give this eyeshadow look a little bit of color and a little bit more warmth. So I'm going to go in with that very bright orangey shade and taking a very fluffy brush. That way I can add more as I go instead of getting that full impact. I'm going to take this right over that yellowy shade that we put down on our crease and it's gonna give us that fun orangey color. Hopping back in the palette I'm gonna take this brown shade right here and I'm gonna really define my eyes and do a little bit of a graphic liner but just with eyeshadow. So I'm gonna start on the outer corner and winging this outward and I'm using this little pencil brush. I'm not sure what brand it is. It doesn't have a label on it and it's been a while now so you can use any pencil brush with a precise tip to it. I'm just going to start with that shape and then I'm going to bring this up into my crease, but I'm going to leave this space blank. So it's really just framing my lid. I am going to blend this a little bit on the edges just so I don't have a harsh line, but I do want to have most of the impact. I'm going to use a more precise blending brush just to blend out the upper edge of this brown into that warm orangey color. Then going back in with that brown, I'm going to follow my lash line and this is going to help thicken the lashes or appear more thicker. And if you want to wear falsies, it'll help them blend a lot better. Now I'm going to take a dark brown lining pencil and I'm going to take that on my upper waterline. Jumping back into the palette, I'm going to take that special topping shade at the bottom with a little brush like this, and I'm going to put that in that negative space. And this shadow is a topper, so you're just going to get the sparkle, but if you do want more intensity, you can foil this shadow. I'll show you each 
technique on each eye. So that's what it looks like without the foiling. Now if you do want to foil it and intensify it, you're going to take a little bit on your brush and just spray it with some setting spray and you're gonna get a more full impact. But now just to make things even, I'm gonna do the other side foiled as well. As you can see, it's super sparkly, super reflective, and I hope it's translating like that on camera because it's just like next level. Now jumping back into the palette, I'm gonna take a few of the shades that we used on the top, and I'm gonna start running those on the bottom. So I'm gonna start with the two transition shades and then I'm going to take the small blending brush from earlier and just use that to further buff those a little bit down and that's going to create balance on your eyes. I am going to take a little bit of the bright orangey shade as well and incorporate that onto my lower lash line. And last but not least, going back into that dark brown and just defining the outer corner of the lower lash line. I'm also going to take a nude eyeliner and I'm going to run that on my lower lash line just to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. So to prime my skin before foundation, I'm going to go in with a little bit of CXC Beauty Signature Set and Refresh Spray. <laughs> It was a little bit cold because it's cold in my office. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and I'm going to use a little bit of Patrick Star's Secure the Blur Primer in my T-zone just to help with the larger pores. And it also helps the foundation adhere to this area of my face a little bit, the nose area, because I do have trouble with foundation sticking there. So I make sure to work that really well in with my fingers get in all those pores and I'm gonna let that sit for a second. For foundation today I do want to go in with my drugstore favorite which is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. Looks like this and I'm doing one pump on my little makeup palette. See right there and I'm just gonna stipple it on. Out of all the drugstore foundations this one and the Maybelline Superstay are the only two that I've ever purchased more than once or repurchased. On top of this, I'm gonna add a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, the Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I use the shade 4.5. Sometimes I do this product under foundation, sometimes I do it over foundation. It depends on how much of that glow I want. Under the foundation, you get that glow from within and over the foundation, it's more of like a very subtle highlight. So it just depends on what you're going for. For concealer today, since it is a little bit more of an intense makeup and higher coverage, I'm going to go in with Tarte Shape Tape. This is the ultra creamy version in the shade Medium Sand. It is very yellow of an undertone, but I do like it for under my eyes. And I do like to bring it a little bit up onto the bridge of my nose. And I'm just blending this out with a nice dense dome brush like this one. This one's from Morphe and it's part of their Elite collection and I've had it for a very, very long time. I don't even know if they make this anymore. If you do get any concealer on the eyeshadow part, you can always use whatever is left on your eyeshadow brush and buff that out. So taking that small eyeshadow brush, you just go right on the edge of the concealer and that little bit of excess eyeshadow will buff out that harsh line. For my powder today, I always use the CXC Beauty Signature Set Powder in shade Zero. And for this foundation, the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear, I only like to set under my eyes and my T-zone. I don't really have to set the rest of it because I like to keep it a little bit more luminous. Sculpting my face with the CXC Beauty Refined Radiance Bronzer in shade N2. And I'm just taking that on a fluffy brush and working that on the perimeters of my face. This is a very neutral tone bronzer, so it does give you more of like that contour shade. For my blush today, I'm going to take this Kylie Cosmetics, and this is Batty on the Block. And this is like a very peachy tone highlighter. It's not very pigmented, so you can go a little heavy handed with this. And I'm going to use this as the base for my other blush that I'm about to apply first. And then I'm going to take Cheeky from CXC Beauty, which is that cool tone pink. And I'm going to concentrate this more on the apples. A little bit on the nose too. Why not? Okay, before we finish off the rest of the complexion, I do want to do the rest of my eyes. And I'm going to take the e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara. And I'm just using this to coat my lashes black because I am going to 
apply falsies. For my falsies today, I'm gonna use these that I found on Amazon. They are amazingly priced and you get a lot of lashes. I think this whole set was maybe $10 and they're by Zanati Eyelash Expert. For these lashes, I do trim a good outer chunk of them because they are a little bit big for my eyes. Um, unless I'm gonna do a more drag look where I lift the lash a little bit, then I leave them intact, but I do like to cut a big piece off. My lash glue of choice right now is the House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive. My eyelashes are on and ready to go. I love how these lashes are super long, but they have spaces between so you can still see your beautiful eyeshadow work. They're not overwhelming for the eyeshadow, which is great. Now let's move into lips. And for lips today, I'm gonna go in with CXC Beauty's Speak Easy Liquid Lipstick in the shade Valley Girl. Now we wanna let that fully dry down before we go in with the rest of our lips. To finish off the lips, I'm gonna go in with our new Slick Gloss in the shade Golden Era, which is this beautiful sparkling gold lip gloss. It is stunning. I'm actually gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand so I don't ruin the applicator with my nude lipstick. And now I'm gonna apply this with a brush. So I'm just gonna take that gloss and it's very golden, sparkly, I love it. It matches this palette very well along with the full-size Vault of Olympus palette. And for my highlighter today, I'm gonna go in with the CXC Beauty Luminescence Highlighter Palette, and I'm gonna use the shade Brilliance, which is a beautiful golden tone. And I'm just gonna do this very subtle. I don't want the highlight to be too extreme today. And then for my brows today, since I forgot to do them, I'm just gonna quickly run a little bit of this Fluff Up Brow Wax from Benefit. I like this for a nice fluffy brow. It's like a brow wax in a wand form, which is amazing. And there you go, this is the completed look using our Vault of Olympus mini palette. It is one of my favorites for the warm tones and also this pop of color. This is a stunning palette. You get so many different finishes in here. You get those nice, beautiful, ultra metallic shades, this golden shimmer, and then this topper, which can be so intense. It's stunning. So check out this palette on cxcbeauty.com. Let me know what you think about this eyeshadow look in the comments below, and let me know which eyeshadow palette I should use on my next tutorial and what you guys wanna see. Thank you guys for joining me on this video today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.